Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Crafty Crow Show. Today's video is a little different. It's going to be a will it start video. I've been watching tons of these and just out of the blue, my son-in-law Nick called me and said, hey, I've got an old tractor that uh, I want to try to get started. Do you want to come down and film it? So I thought, yeah, we would like to go see that. I hope you all would like to go see that. So we're going to go with my son-in-law Nick down to his family farm in Virginia, crank up an old tractor and see if we can get the thing running again. I'll give you the details on it. I think it's a 60 some model tractor, but um, we'll get in here. We'll see what Nick's family farm looks like, and we're going to take a trip down to Virginia today. So stick with us, come with us. Let's go check this out and see if we can have a little bit of fun and keep them blowing something up. All right, on the road, there's Nick. Hello. As you can see, Nick's kind of spiffly dressed. He just got out of uh, church and just got in with the baptism. So I'd say this morning, they didn't, well, they do it in the creek. Yes, we did it in the creek. I was going to say, down to the creek, they probably met Jesus a little quicker and had more of a awakening when they got in there. I know I did mine in the lake, just out in nature. I kind of wanted to do that. So, But it was about this time of year, maybe a little bit sooner, and it was definitely cold. So we're going to head down to Nick's family's farm. It's in Virginia, right? Virginia. And we're going to be trying to start, what is it? I know. It's a 74 Ford 801 Power Master tractor that has not been started in probably since the 90s. Since the 90s. Since I was in high school. Now, I'll probably put that down here at the bottom again because I ain't going to remember what that thing was. But <laughs> we'll show you some views heading to the farm. He'll be changing clothes, of course. He ain't going to work on it. You know, we're going to get dirty. These girls are wondering what in the world we're doing. There's another one. Where's, oh, there it is. Cow farm. So this is just a small little snapshot of what the family owns, but it's about a little over 100 acres, Nick said. So good sizable little farm. I think what we're going to do is get on the side by side if I don't blind you with the sun and uh, go explore around a little bit before we hit the tractor. He's wanting to show me a few things. Said he's got a bulldozer on here, and I'm kind of interested to see that too. So we'll take a look around everything, and then we'll get down to the tractor and get started. Here's our first view. Look, there, I'll take the way nice in a barn. That ought to help, right? Ford 801 Power Master. So there's the old fuel bowl. That's what a new one's supposed to look like. <laughs> it was so gunked up. Ugh. I mean, you can kind of, I, mean, I don't care to get it on me. It's yeah. dried up now, but it was so gunked up that the glass had broke around it when I tried to remove it. Um, and it's just like solid now. Like, I hope that's no not, a, no not a sign of things to come. I thought the gas tank don't look like that. <laughs> yeah, really. So you're gonna have to bear with us a little bit. There's no power out in this building, so there ain't no, no lights we're gonna have for this. But first thing we're doing, the distributor cap was off. So Nick's getting that lined out. And then we have to figure out the wiring because we don't know exactly what wires go where. He said his dad had uh, got wires running everywhere. So it's gonna be a little Sherlock Holmes on this thing for a minute. And we don't want to make sure that we uh, don't catch this thing on fire, which will catch the barn on fire. And then we've already lost one barn to fire. We don't want to don't want to take this other one down. Especially with that new John Deere sitting back there. That'd be a bad thing. <laughs> it's a little rat's nest. A little rat's nest. You get it out that way, it don't catch fire. It adds character. I found one in the radiator, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> The best thing about this, it's a 60 some model. We ain't got a whole bunch of electronics to worry about. It's pretty much straightforward. Yeah, because that'd be above my pay grade. <laughs> if you get air, fire, and fuel to that engine, and make sure it's got oil in it, you're, you're pretty much golden. I'm gonna see where this red wire's going real right quick. I don't even know what this is. I mean, that has to be the Good on all. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. 
That's right. The oil looks good and it's right. Three quarters of the way up. It's real good. Good. Actually, really, it, somebody's just changed it. It's brand new. Huh. Yeah, probably changed it before they parked it. And it's just. Well, ain't held on by nothing. Don't turn the headlights on. All right. I don't even know what the switch Actually, the it's not even a headlight. What the hell does that go to? I don't even know what the, where the switch the headlights are. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what that is, but man, that one. She no bueno. Let me show you this wire I found in here. Oh, yeah. I think that goes to the headlight. I don't think we're going to have headlights. Probably not. <laughs> That's where I found that rat's nest. Was oh, right okay. there. Yeah, they chewed it. <laughs> they up chewed it to pieces. But your dad said the headlights never worked on anyway. So. Well, yeah, you just don't work at night. That, that yeah. gives you a good reason to come in. Yeah. For night. You got to come in and eat supper. <laughs> First step, we're going to get uh, gas and take a look at this tank and make sure the lines are clear and stuff so we know we got gas coming down the engine. Alright, I don't know if you'll be able to see down there or not. Let's be careful not not crap down in there, but can you see? And it smells like old fuel. Eh. You might not be able to see, but you can't be here to help us anyway, so we'll get uh, the camera out of the way so we can look. The best stick to use is from a briar bush. Ain't nobody ever accused me of having sense. Okay, that one screen's just loose. Okay. So it's got dropped in there from something else or... It may have been on the gas. It may have been on this. No, it's got holes in it. Yeah, it's not on that. If we run out of gas, what we can do is just uh, we'll go out to the store and get some more. Siphon it. <laughs> All right, we don't think we had enough fuel in there. Let's see if it, uh, that screen we've been looking at actually makes it run out. This is where that fuel bowl goes. So if we start seeing fuel come out of this, we know we're good. This tank's got old shellac smelling fuel in it, and it looked bone dry. To start. There's a little bit of liquid in the bottom. But... Look down and see how much that is. All we want is drips. Come on. Please drip. So here's where we at with this. A little valve that must be a shutoff valve for this fuel tank, and it is stuck, I believe, in the closed position. Of course. Now he thought he was going to have help coming, and I'm just as bad of luck as he is. So, yeah, when nature attacks, come on, little buddy. There ain't no brown on him. What's that supposed to mean? Do you remember? Um, I think if they're all black, it means the winter is going to be harsher, but I don't remember. Yeah, something about winter. Something the black about and the brown it helps you predict winter. I don't know. We're too young to know this stuff. Let's put him down in a safe place. But I've been over here fiddling with this. What I'm guessing is a fuel shut off. I showed you a little while ago. And I actually have this thing now. If I can get you in focus. It moves but still no fuel coming out and the fuel line that come off of it is horrible absolutely horrible so what we decided to do is heck with the fuel system right now we need to make sure it cranks and has fire to everything and stuff and then we'll worry about the fuel issue if we got everything else working then we can fix the fuel issue even if we have to order something yeah i'm gonna order a new fuel line um, for it because it's, it's completely shot there's no yeah. way getting fuel out of that and we don't have any fuel line here anyway so we might rig up something if we get fired or everything else just to get gas into the carburetor and start working but let's move on from the fuel and then see where we can go from there so not only are we worried about mice eating this too much um this is a six volt system we're pretty sure it's a six volt system we got a 12 volt battery. 
So it ought to crank over real quick. Um, we're going to take our time with it uh, and try not to burn the starter up, you know, too bad with that extra power. We just want to see if it'll crank and start right now. If we can get this thing started easy, then he's going to put more money into it and restore it. But right now, if it don't run, there ain't no sense in putting all that work into it. So we're working with what we got. Might get a six volt battery later on or convert the system over to 12 volt, which should probably be better. Jeez. <laughs> Old equipment is positive to give you a long day. on there all the way down but it's pretty tight all right let's see if this does anything nope I have to it up. yeah because it's loose let me uh you want to try holding it with those needle nails? hold on a second definitely don't use when all else fails boys just flip her over that good yeah. Mm -hmm. Both of them's tighter than they were, I guess. No power. Let's see if that does anything. Like you said, we ought to get some kind of gauge, something on me. Unless the rat chew them on half. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think that positive. What that hammer go? Uh, I soaked up here. We don't need to choke because we ain't getting no gas anyway. So on the phone with Dad, we have figured out this is the starter for this thing. The key still has to be turned on. Get you around where the key is. But what'd you say? That's the starter button. So while we're tracing down wires, because it looks like there's a wire missing off of it, right, let's take off this air cleaner we so we can get a little access the to the start instead of the way behind it. About where the battery's at. Um. And for nobody that's ever never seen them, these are what's called an oil bath air filter. Is, is it coming from the key? That one is nasty. Where it's coming from? But oil sits down in here, and as the air flows in, it hits that oil. Any particles okay, get hit I in that oil and catches it. Here. Looks like there's some water in that too, so yeah. that might not be a good thing either. So let's get in here and. Try to clean out this and go from there. Um, so I took this off and was looking at how these wires run in and guess what we found? They're right there. There's another key. So we turned this on. Now let's see if maybe we can kick the starter. I still think we're missing that wire right Neither there. Eh. Wrong answer. Back to the drawing board. Okay, we're still debating on the fact of where the battery is even charged. But, we're gonna cross this thing over. See if we can get a spark. I heard it. Yep. Okay, well we got battery. Ah! And we got some noise out of the All starter. Right. So, that means we gotta yeah. figure out why the starter ain't running, but we do have power to the system. The thing's not burnt down, so <laughs> the mice ain't chewed through something that's gonna heat up and burn this thing to the ground. That was gotta run down and trace down why we're not getting power to the starter. Getting power to the starter. And I was, I'm like you, I think there's a wire that needs to go on that starting button. Okay. Hey, that's finally progress though for the first time today. <laughs> So we have found out tons of stuff. First, this has been converted. It's got a 12 volt regulator. So this is a 12 volt system, the battery's right. Then we was thinking, is it negative ground? Another call to dad. No, it's not. Guess what, after all this tracing. Watch this. Us dingleberries had this uh, switch. It didn't turn all the way over. This is why I didn't go to engineering school. <laughs> so, we thought that it was turned, the key was turned over all the way, but it wouldn't. It uh, just, you know, wear and tear and years of sitting here. It finally clicked over. So now we've got a starter. So 
power, everything's working like it's supposed to instead of us having to rig something up. Where we go from here? We gotta get fuel, right? Ugh. No, check, make sure we've got spark. So let's make sure we got spark and then we might have to put fuel off for another day. We'll see, but let's try it. Okay, so we have found the size of the starter, probably just where it sits along kind of hit and miss. We've got power to the coal because it was sparking off the block. And now I don't know if you can see in there, the points are not making any spark when they shut together and they shouldn't look that white color. So find some sandpaper, sand the point and see if that helps us get fire. Turn the ignition on. He got screwed up to it. He didn't get spark with it. Do what? That's what we did last uh, with that. We'll take this whole thing off. Maybe we can get that gas tank out of there. You didn't know you'd be doing all this today, did you? Oh, I figured we'd be having fun. I'm going to say we got to get this other one off. We're going to do anything over that way. So that popped all the way up. What we're doing now. We think maybe the key switch is bad, we're not sure, and we've been messing with the points for a while. We can't get the points to even get fire between the points. So it's getting a, a, a quite an extensive list of parts to buy before we even get anything good out of this. So now we're just trying to figure out how to take off the body parts. Because we're gonna to have to get the fuel tank off anyway. And this is, we're running out of daylight. We gotta do something. So just give you an update, that's what we're doing. It's a Ford. Yeah. <laughs> it is a Ford. <laughs> If it wasn't sitting here, I wouldn't have bought a tape for one. Ree! I can hear it now. I just figured I'd try this. Maybe I can get a little bit better torque with it or something. Well, there you go. Um, guess what? We're running out of daylight. It kicked our hind in. Go figure. And, you know, we're not the most experienced mechanics either, so. <sighs> we're sitting here hashing out what we probably need to do for the next time, because this is going to be a next time. We didn't get it this time. We did, we did get it to crank over. So that's something. We've not got fired to the points, so. New set of points. And, uh, Nick's got some stuff to order. Yep fuel line, new set of points, and a whole lot of WD-40 and to get all the bolts off. <laughs> Everything's rusted up. So what we're thinking, this is, this actually, this is going to be a two-part. This is going to be multi-part. This will be a whole playlist on its own probably because he's wanting to, if we can get it running, to restore this thing. So we're going to have many more visits back here to the farm and be working on this thing. Um, but think the plan we're coming up with we're going to get these body parts off because we need them off anyway even if for nothing else he's going to have to paint them and things we can get to the fuel tank so next time we're going to take the tank off replace the points clean, the tank, out. clean the tank out try to see if we can get fuel going to the sediment bowl i bought that we can't use because there's no fuel coming out um and then if we can get fire from our distributor and the coils and the points um hopefully it'll run Hopefully it'll run. Nothing else gives us a good day out here on the farm where it's nice and quiet. and yep. Very peaceful. It's getting cool weather, so it's not burning up out here in this barn. <laughs> so, it's a Ford. What can we say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lying. This is back. These tractors are pretty good tractors, so we'll get it running eventually. But, you know, we're going to have to order some parts to get some things. So, we're going to have to cut this video short because I'd say it's been going a while now. So until next time, I don't know what I want you to do.
Until next time, love one another as the good Lord tells you. We'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah.